Hi guys, Brad Hawthorne. What we're gonna do today is we're looking for panfish on early ice. And I kind of have an idea of where they are because we were fishing last fall and most of the panfish were in 20 plus feet of water. So I'm gonna start by looking in the deep basin areas and on the edge of those basin areas. I'm also gonna be looking for features in the basin like boulders, trees, stumps, debris, things like that that'll hold panfish and predators. So what we're gonna do is explore the whole lake with Mega 360. And what Mega 360 really allows you to do, truthfully, is to drill less holes and find more fish. And we're gonna show you how to do that today. So cartography is everything when you're trying to find your first initial starting point. So what I've done is set my depth highlight to where I think the fish are going to be. And now we're gonna to run to those spots and then we're gonna use 360 to isolate the fish after we've outlined it on the Lake Master. We've got a large group of friends out here. We're gonna have a good time today. We're gonna to drill a few holes. And the one thing to remember with 360, instead of coming into an area and ripping it wide open with holes, now you drill one hole you take a look around and then you drill your holes accordingly after that as you mark fish. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just watching TV right now. And one thing to point out is with Mega360 is the 360 unit itself is directional as is the GPS antenna. So I have that face this way and the unit at a 90 to that. That way if I see a fish 20 feet this way, I know that it's actually 20 feet this way. If I have it cocked, you know, both the units cocked, I'm gonna be kind of wondering where is it in that vicinity. The reason I sit and look at this image so long is because fish move fast. I mean, we, we don't give fish enough credit. Everyone thinks that fish slow down in the winter, and that's not the truth. I've seen schools of crappie come in on an 80 foot scale on the 360, come in on one side, and in one five second sweep, be almost halfway through the, uh, the picture. So that's why I sit and stare at it. A, to see if fish are actually using the area, if they're feeding, and what type there are. You know, if you start seeing balls, those are usually perch, bluegill, or crappie. If you start seeing wolf packs, two, three, four fish, and they look like grains of rice, those are gonna be your bass, pike, and walleye. So this is, this is the reason why you wait that three to 10 minutes and actually look at your 360 and sit and stare at it because these schools of fish will come in and out. And I know that this school of fish here literally came from that direction because I know it didn't come from over here and I know it didn't come from over here. It came from basically north, northeast of me. So what we're gonna do now is I'm simply gonna pick the 360 up, grab my auger, I'm gonna walk 55 to 60 feet that way. And then I'm gonna reassess the situation and see if there are more fish over in that part of the basin that are just creeping up onto that edge. So that's, that's the point. That's why you sit and look at your Mega 360. It's doing the work for you. All you have to do is be patient and watch. All right, give me one right in here somewhere. All right. So we located a school of fish and it's pretty sizable if you, if you look right here. I'm gonna zoom in just a hair so you guys can get an idea of how big that school is. There's about 30 fish right there. And this is basically what you do. You drill holes, you look around, and when you mark those big schools, like I'm waiting for this to, to, to spin one more time to see which direction these fish are going. And then I'm gonna go get ahead of them. See, I can already see that this school here jumped ahead about three or four feet. So I know that that school is, my range rings are obviously 20 feet right now, because I'm set at 80. So I know that this school of fish is 20, 40, literally 40 feet right to my right. I'm gonna go pop a hole over there and uh, see if we can pop a few of those nice fish out of there. And that's, that's basically it. Once you find them, now you isolate them. So now I'm gonna go grab my 2D sonar. I'm gonna go pop a hole 40 feet over there. There we go. So we, what we did is drop our waypoint after we verify that there's fish here. And it took a little coaxing to get this one. But that's, that's the effectiveness of just, you know, using your maps, using your waypoints, using all the tools in your toolbox to catch fish. And we had to bounce around a lot today to find the fish. So now that we've verified that we've got fish here, now it's time to call the crew in. And I'm gonna actually drop down there, pop another one of these guys. So the beauty about Helix units is you can contort the screen 
any way you want. If you're a flasher guy and you want a large flasher, you can have that. If you're a 2D guy like myself, you can have 2D zoom and then 2D history right in line with each other, or you can have the screen set up like I have it right now, where you got your traditional flasher dial and you have your 2D. So for anyone that's, that's considering a Helix unit or comparing them, know that you can put the screen any way you want, whether you're a flasher guy, a 2D guy, however you want to read the underwater world below you, you can do that with any Helix ice unit. There we go. So I think it's time to uh, call the other guys in now that we have it dialed in. But it's, it's a one-two punch program, you know, 360 to find and isolate the fish and then using your 2D to get right on top of them and start plucking them out of the school. You know, we got probably 15, 20 holes in here now and now when fish leave, instead of bouncing hole to hole or drilling more holes, you walk back to the Mega 360, take a look and figure out where the school went. Oh, double. That's a nice one. That one might be a good one. Oh, there we go. Everyone is catching fish around us. And that's the, dude, that, these make a good pair. They do. Yeah. <laughs> so like, the cool part is everyone around us is catching fish right now because we know which way the school is going. And it's just, it's loads of fun to go, hey guys, you know, let's shift. All the guys shift over left, you know, three or four holes or 20 feet, or however you're going to call it. You know, that's, that it just makes it a fun day of, of fishing, being able to not have dead times, not have dead water. And as long as you just front load it on the, on the front end of finding the fish, finding the biggest schools. And then once you find them, you're able to stay on them just like we're doing right now.